Hello everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. As you guys could see from the title today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash reveal slash I don't know what you want to call this, but I am um, quite excited, but at the same time, I do have a lot of thoughts about this and kind of like letting you guys know if this is worth it or not. And this is going to be my unboxing of my BoxyCharm box. This is a box from January, so I'm here to kind of dive in and show you guys what I got from the month of January. I know I am a bit late and I know we are already February, but since this was shipping from the US, I feel like all the US shipments to Canada are always delayed. So technically, it's not my fault. Technically, it is the carrier's fault or their fault for shipping it quite late. It doesn't really matter. I'm here to kind of like show you guys. I also have a couple of questions to ask you guys regarding BoxyCharm. But before I dive into all of that juicy juice hot tea moment, if you are new here to my channel, Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video and if you haven't already Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video And of course, I love to have you guys a part of the light family that I have here on my channel If you guys would like to see what I got in my box, please keep on watching So just kind of like a side note, this is my first time subscribing into a box like this. I remember back back in the days when I was really into nail polish and all of that, I signed up to a subscription box that I received the box every month and it was Julep. I don't know if Julep is still active, I don't know if they are still out there, but they kind of had a subscription box and it was their uh, nail polish and stuff, which I really liked to be honest, it was really fun to kind of see the colors they sent me, the surprises that I also got in these boxes so unfortunately I had to cancel my subscription because I'm no longer a nail polish kind of girl I'm more like a gel polish kind of girl right now and since then I haven't really signed up to anything and ironically enough I am a makeup artist and I'm really into makeup so I just never ever signed up to a subscription box that sent makeup and skincare and all of that stuff since i am on social media and i'm always on it um a lot of people are kind of talking about ipsy boxycharm and other subscription boxes that you can get full size products and people are raving like oh my god this is like so worth it but girl i'm here to tell you guys if it's worth it or not okay as a first timer i have to say i'm not so impressed that's the truth. I'm not so impressed with the box. I was really, really excited about this box. I did go ahead and open it and I really know what I got in here, but I have to say straight up, I was just really not impressed by it. And I'll show you exactly why. I shouldn't have wrote down uh, the products and how much they go for. I guess I'll just do it with you guys. Also, one thing about Boxy Charm is that if you are planning to subscribe with them, just make sure that if you live in Canada, then you will pay a little bit more expensive for your box. This is the premium box and I think the premium box goes for $40. I'm just here on their website to tell you guys what they have. They have like three kind of boxes, which I didn't know because when I signed up to this, I only saw two. Um, I didn't see the third one for some reason. So they have their base box. Their base box can contain up to five full-size products. The products are worth up to $200 and it's only for $27.99 a month. Uh, $27.99, that's USD, by the way. If you are in Canada, then you're paying a little bit more expensive than that. I signed up to the premium box. The premium box, you get six full-size products product and the products in the box could go up to $240 and this box is $39.99 USD as I live in Canada I can give you guys the Canadian price I paid for this $63 so it is a quite of a difference so I'm here to tell you guys if it's actually worth it or not and then they also have the Lux box which I didn't know about so the Lux box you get eight full-size products and the products in there could be up to $395. As a first timer, I have to say I am a little bit disappointed with the box and I was kind of like debating whether I give it another chance to see how the February box is going to look like and I decided to kind of move forward with that and see what the February box 
is going to give me to be honest to see what I get and for sure I'm gonna be sitting down and doing a review on that as well but I'm here to show you guys the January box and what I got in my January box if you guys don't know boxycharm also sells separate products that are literally like half the price sometimes are even cheaper than half the price they can have 75% off or 60% off on the product so they constantly have a lot of products on sale and it is quite worth it again if you live in Canada then make sure that you are paying a little bit more for the Canadian money just just saying but um there's one product I did buy from them and it is this one right here this one here I actually uh, asked a friend of mine that she's also a makeup artist as we are all on social media we all like to post our work and what we do on our clients and one thing that really caught my eye is the eyeshadow that she had on her client's eye and I was like girl do you mind sharing what kind of eyeshadow was that and it was nice and shimmery and like really really beautiful and she gave me the name this is from artist couture which honestly I've never Never heard about artist couture before and this is the diamond lights finisher and it was exactly the same color that I saw on boxycharm this cost me about maybe six dollars USD which is really not bad and this one here is called spotlight glitz and I'm gonna show you fast fast so basically I got it and I don't know if you guys could see but it's like it looks like it's been opened and there's like eyeshadow everywhere it is kind of messy so this is how I received it. Like I can see eyeshadow all over. But this is the color. Hopefully you guys could see it. It's a beautiful champagne kind of color. So it is not broken, but I can definitely see that this is open. It looks sealed, but the seal looks like it's been opened. I think Artist Couture could be owned by Mac Daddy. Honestly, I went on their website and I saw Mac Daddy's face. I mean I don't know this color is like really really pretty I mean I saw it on the on my friend's clients eyes like what she used on her and I was like girl I need to have that in my life look at this color it's kind of like a champagne it has a little bit of a on the camera it shows you guys that there's a little bit of like rose gold reflex but I'm not sure it's because of the lights but in real life it's like a really nice champagne golden kind of color which is beautiful on brides for sure so i was really happy to find this on boxycharm which is was kind of like ironic because i just asked my friend like hey do you mind sharing and she shared it and lucky enough boxycharm had it literally on sale and i'm like girl let's dive into this box and show you guys what i got just to let you guys know that i did review this box on their website and i gave it a two out of five star you might think that it's a little bit savage from my end but i am quite honest when it comes to stuff like that i like to speak my mind and i like to point out my point of view and tell people what's the real deal i'm not here sitting and like excuse my language bullshitting because you know it's been highly talked about or it could be like something for free that i received you guys all know that i'm quite frank and quite honest with you guys fyi they did not send me this for free i paid for this with my own money so i'm just trying to kind of like bring a point of view out there so that you guys know that if it's worth it or not you know when i opened the box the first thing that i got turned off is these right here now i'm not saying because i don't like the company i just feel like they are not so useful in a box like so especially i paid 63 bucks for it you know what I mean? I got these and these are makeup removers. So basically they are reusable and you can just remove your makeup with this. And once you're done, rinse it, pop it in the washing machine, get it washed, it's clean. I'm not saying these are not useful, they are eco-friendly, definitely. I just, I wasn't really so excited about these because I already have them and I kind of already use them. And it's good to have extra, but most probably these will be kind of like given away to be honest and this one here is from a brand called La Roque. I just checked out their website and these goes for $24. You get three in there. They are reusable. They're pretty cool. I have to say they're handy especially if you travel or if you're somebody who wears makeup often and you don't want to waste like wipes or anything like that then yes they are useful to have. I honestly I was like huh oh, really um 
I didn't find them useful to be in the box which I was kind of expecting makeup wise and I got these I'm not saying I'm hating on them absolutely not they also have recommended recommended use so the white one remove makeup gray apply toner and serum and then the black one is wash face but honestly, I just find it's, it was a little bit useless in this box. Next item in the box is this one right here. And this one here, it is the L plus W Bio. And this is the Phoenix Rose Quartz Vibrating Facial Massager. And I was like, what is this? If you guys all know, I am a skincare fanatic. I have a lot of skincare. And I do have my skincare routines from time to time that I do. Well, time to time. It's basically once a, once a week. I actually was looking into something like this and I was like, hi, oh, if I find like a nice one on Amazon, I'm probably gonna get it. And this is how it looks like. It is really cute and it's pink and it's operated with batteries. And this is also water resistant. This one here is suitable for all for all body parts. So it's not only for face, so you can use it on your face, neck, your legs, your shoulders, your chest. You can use it anywhere you want. For all skin types, reduce, reduces toxins, anti-wrinkling and skin tightening, activates, activate and rejuvenate skin cells. And this one says contours face, face skin. And it says contour face skin interesting <laughs> but yeah this is how it looks like and this one here checking on their website this is retailed for 79.99 definitely got my box worth just with this product probably usd as well so all the pricing that i'm giving you for these items they are usd just keep that in mind this is really cool to be honest like let me open it and see if it works turn and twist bottom how the It says all body parts, but <laughs> facial. I'm gonna keep it facial. Next thing here in the box, this is the third product. And this is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Styling Leave-In. Um, I guess this is something that you put on your hair when you're out of the shower, I guess. And basically you kind of like let it air dry a little bit. And this one here is gonna give you for soft, sea swift waves with uv protection i wish this was handy for me when i went to cuba in november <laughs> this is probably something that i would use it says this beachy gel cream conditions detangles and fights frizz for soft sea swift waves flexi style blend adds a light hold and flexibility so you can style and restyle all day Formulated with UV filters to help protect hair from drying effects of the sun. Work evenly into towel, dried hair, leave in and go. Um, okay, so this is probably going to be handy when I am on vacation again. But this is probably something that I'm going to use in September because that's when we're planning to go on vacation. My next vacation is going to be in September but i'll still kind of see how it's going to work during the summertime because a lot of the times i get out of the shower and i just kind of like drag not styling my hair it's not because my hair takes a long time to style at all but i just hate doing it <laughs> believe it or not so i just sometimes i just want to throw something in my hair and just kind of go so i guess this is something that i might use not sure i honestly don't really like to use too much product on my hair especially when this one says gel cream so in my head if it's gel cream then it's gonna harden and that is one of the things that i really hate about like gels in general is that they harden your hair i like something that dries out airy it still kind of feels like my hair but like not super stiff if that makes any sense i'm not gonna try this on right now and this one here goes for 36 dollars Next product, this is called Visca, and this is the Stargaze Luminous Glow. Surprisingly enough, I went on the Visca website and it says they closed down as of January. I didn't know about this, this company before. I guess they kind of closed completely. They no longer 
still product but they do have it on boxycharm's website if you guys are curious this one here goes for 28 dollars and the color that they sent me um let me see here do i have the color no but this is a highlighting powder this is the packaging very simple first open it up you do have a mirror and the color is like that this is definitely a color that is really dark for me as a highlighting powder i have to say this one here is called dream but it is a dark kind of like a bronzy color definitely beautiful on darker skin tone for myself this is probably something that i would just use on my eyes to be honest okay so it is kind of like a light it's a light light color so i'm just gonna put that all over here since it is kind of like a highlighter kind of color it is quite light but it's a nice color for like everyday purpose if you just want to dust a little light in the crease slash lid area then this would be perfect but i have to say that this would be really really pretty on a darker skin tone as a highlighter but for my skin tone it's probably something that's gonna be used mainly more on the eyes for me it's really cute i'm not gonna you know i like it is it my favorite in the box no not really i uh, would have preferred that they asked which color i would like definitely next product this is the zevia zuvia zuvia I don't know how to spell it this is the powerful lip twist as you guys could see i have nothing on my lip because i wanted to try this on with you guys i did give it a swatch it's a really nice color it is a dark color it's more like a brownie tone kind of color and it is kind of like a twist up so you turn it from here and it goes up and i think you also have a sharpener no you don't or do you I think you do here at the bottom you do have a sharpener the packaging of this reminds me a lot of house beauty uh lip products this one here goes for 16.50 and the color that i have here is called helen oh it's quite creamy okay definitely more creamy than my likings i have to say that and it's actually a really nice lip liner that you can go ahead and use a nude color for the sake of this video i'm gonna go ahead and color my whole lip with this to give you guys a better look on the color it's a really nice color i like it i like the vibe i really like the color yeah just to let you guys know that it is creamy and it's so easy to get transferred but it's also so easy to get smudged as well just keep that in mind but overall your girl is definitely feeling this color it's like literally up my alley and so my vibes last but not least in this box i have to say i was really happy to see this in the box this is definitely a product that i really wanted to try for like the longest time and i'm a huge fan of this brand itself and this is called wishful and this is the honey bomb gel moisturizer again this is another skincare product that i really 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 like and obviously i'm not really disappointed since i am a skincare fanatic and i love skincare as i mentioned at the beginning of this video this is also something that i've been wanting to try for like the longest time so i was kind of happy to see this in the box your girl have been eyeing this on sephora website for like the longest time this one here has lavender honey another ingredient that i'll just put it on the screen and also has turmeric it's inside as well and this one here it is stable for all skin types so if you guys are wondering i'm not really a fan of lavender <laughs> so hopefully this doesn't smell like lavender because i know wishful like are very very strong on their scents Hmm, it smells really good it has like a fresh smell to it and the lavender is very 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 light as a scent in here i don't know if you guys could see but the cream itself has a purple hue in it which is really really cool oh this is like really nice it does have like a gel kind of feel to it and it just like literally melts into your skin my skin just absorbed that and yeah it is quite nice and shiny if you guys could see 
but you can't really see the purple hue that much which is really cool but it's gonna give you that nice little moisturized glow that we all love and admire alrighty you guys this is everything I got in my box oh and I also forgot to mention so this one here is retailed for $57 so with all the products that I got in this box I have a grand total of this box of 241 and 49 dollars which they did say that this box could go up to 240 dollars which they kind of went over it a little bit with a dollar and 49 cents which i kind of like gained this is dude just this just worked on its own it's chill this scared the living crap out of me right now i gained all my money back from this facial vibrator thing that just gave me a heart attack this was kind of the most expensive in this box for 79.99 and i actually did kind of win a dollar and 49 cents since they did say that the premium box could go up to 240 dollars so i am quite excited for the february box to see what i'm gonna get and hopefully i get more makeup basically my little questions for you guys i don't know how boxycharm works since this is my first time i don't know if everybody gets the same products in the box or it's different for everybody if you do have the premium box or you do get the premium box please let me know in the comments down below if you received any of the products that i showed you today did you receive different products did you receive same products let me know in the comments down below because I am quite curious. I have a feeling that not everybody gets the same product and it's kind of like picked randomly for each person. That's what I think um, happens because I've watched so many videos on YouTube and a lot of people talked about their January 2023 box and it did not look like anything from what I got. I know a lot of people got this product but the rest are kind of like different so let me know in the comments down below because i have a feeling it is different for everybody let me know in the comments down below if it is worth it for me to upgrade to the Lux box i know it's going to cost me a little bit more expensive and i'm still going to be getting eight full-size products the premium one gives you six full-size products which is quite okay as well for the price is not that bad overall i'm really obsessed with this lip color like i can't stop can't stop looking at it and it's like really really moisturizing so hands up on that one do i regret giving them two out of five stars not really um i still kind of stand forward with my rating i really hope you guys enjoyed my video again if you have any questions concerns anything like that just leave them all in the comments down below and i'll try my best to answer each and one of you guys i do have another review for you guys that i'll be filming right after this one also forgot to mention let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see my february box which either or i am still doing it for you guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye